start again. Hey, Mark, it's uh, good to see you. Um, just want to get your thoughts on how camp went for you guys and just um, how ready you guys feel uh, for a game here in about five days. I see you too, Brian. Um, I feel like we feel uh, really confident. You know, everybody knows their assignment, you know, knows their job. Um, we're confident to everybody on the defense just knows what they have to do, you know. Last year, it was a little going into the first game. It was a little bit of wondering, like, oh, does he know what he's doing? But I feel like this year, you know, we took we took in a big step just knowing our assignment. So I feel like we're ready to play this first game. I can't wait to show everybody what we've been working for. Let's go to Justin Guerrero. Mark, thanks for your time. Good to see you. Um, just wondering your thoughts on uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson. I know, obviously, you guys as DBs probably are paying a good bit of attention to him and just how you'll contain him. But what do you see from him and what kind of challenges does a guy like that who can hurt you with his legs and also hurts, hurt you with his arm pr present for you guys as DBs? Um, you know, it presents, uh, I wouldn't say a problem. It just lets us know that we're going to have to just really be disciplined with our eyes. We're going to have to stay on our receivers because he can scramble. He can get out of the pocket. So, you know, that kind of brings in where you got to stay with your guy and just keep, keep your eyes focused on your man. Um, DTR is a really good quarterback. You know, he has a lot of strengths. He has a good deep ball. Obviously, he can get out the pocket. And I've known DTR for a little while. We have a personal relationship. I know a lot of the guys that play for UCLA. So, it's going to be a big game, you know, especially since we lost last year. So, we have a chip on our shoulder going in this year. Adam Munster, Tiger. Hey, Mark. Uh, aside from you, Chris Miller, and Darian Reichstraw, who should CU fans be keeping an eye on in that safeties group? Who, who's kind of made that jump? this preseason to be some of the, somebody that can help you guys in, in the secondary? Um, I'll for sure should keep your eyes on Isaiah Lewis. Isaiah, he's, he's been really good. You know, um, he's came in, he's done his job. He's done everything right. And so I'd really say keep your eye out for Isaiah Lewis. Henry Chisholm. Hey Mark, you guys have been practicing for a few weeks now, but does practice feel different now that you're finally in a game week? Um, uh, not really. I'll say practice kind of feels the same. It's just we're going over different things. Instead of going like going against our offense every day, you know, we're starting to kind of shift our focus on UCLA. So, I mean, it's really the same thing, but it's just a different focus. Back to Brian Hell. So, Mark, i got a couple questions for you. Um, this secondary, uh, we've talked a lot about the inexperience in this group, but it seems like a lot of really good athletes and, uh, you know, your coaches have talked about the versatility. Are you seeing that, that some of that experience, you, some of you got last year is paying off and that you guys are showing some versatility back there? Yes, I would say we have a lot of versatility. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys that play a lot of different positions. You know, Kai plays corner, so he can also play star. Chris plays star, he can also play safety and corner. I play safety, I can also play corner and star. So, you know, just having those interchangeable parts is, you know, really good for us, especially with this shortened season, you know, 2020, you know, you don't know what could happen. So if one guy goes down, you know, we just fill him in with someone else. So we have a lot of interchangeable parts. And then I wanted to ask you, I know, uh, from what I understand, you guys checked out of the hotel this last weekend and got to go home. Uh, first off, how good did that feel? But then second off, uh, you know, how do you feel like this team bonded? I mean, did you guys use that to your advantage to maybe come together as a group? Yeah, actually, personally, I feel like I got a lot closer with a lot of guys. You know, I was in Christian Gonzalez's room every day playing him and Madden. So, and Christian's kind of a quieter guy, so, you know, we, we got closer, you know, being in the bubble, but it felt good going home, get to see my own bed, you know, do my own things. So, yeah. 